We are the representatives of the land of fire, Azerbaijan, where a harmony of antiquity and natural beauty creates the inimitable view full of amazing landscapes from lakes to beautiful forests, from steep valleys to spectacular mountains. Azerbaijan, historical homeland of oil in the world, is a country full of natural resources and petroleum industry makes up main part of the country's economy. In 1846, for the first time in history of mankind, the oil was extracted by industrial method from the well having a depth of 21 meters located in Bibi Heybat field. One of the critical problems of the country is Azerbaijan's over reliance on oil sector, which accounts for 18-90% of the country's exports each year and up to half of its GDP. In order to reduce the dependency from the oil industry, the government has initiated a number of strategies and state programs to diversify the economy. A rather key measure was the increased focus on the agricultural sector. Although farming contributes only 6% of the GDP, it has a great potential for stimulating growth of the non oil sector, employment opportunities and rural development. Despite all the efforts, certain challenges are still in place and our team has identified the following problems as priority. First, Farmers lack knowledge and competence in terms of developing and running their businesses in a cost-efficient way. They are not aware of relevant animal nutrition and market practices. The industry is largely characterized by small-scale family farm holdings, the majority of which come from disadvantaged backgrounds, have low level of education and are vulnerable to physical and economic risks. Number 2. Well-being of farmers is jeopardized as a result of increasing prices of crops and animal feed due to seasonal weather disturbances. Given that most farmers are self-employed, climate fluctuations also pose risk on their only source of income. Due to climate change-driven cataclysms such as drought or flood, most farmers cannot provide enough feed, which negatively affects the livestock productivity. Apparently, our project cannot solve these global problems in a nutshell, so we started breaking things down and discovered that by taking small incremental steps, such as being more mindful and rational about food, we can significantly help the farming industry in Azerbaijan. Here comes the next problem. Bread is not only one of the most favorite and commonly used foods in our life, it is also one of the most wasted foods. Since grain production is a grand pillar of agriculture in Azerbaijan, the importance of bread in our nutrition is even more. Because of the country's nutritional habits and socio-economic background, the annual demand for wheat ranges from 3 to 3.5 million tons. According to the State Statistical Committee of Azerbaijan and the World Health Organization, bread and other cereal products are considered as the basic food in Azerbaijan. Only in November 2020, total volume of bread produced has been 118,000 tons. It was also estimated that an average person in the country consumes approximately 135 kilograms of bread per year. The bread, an indispensable nutrition product of meal tables, is the primary source of carbohydrates and protein, yet the results of our research are terrifying. We found out that 8,293 tons of bread was wasted in 2020 in Azerbaijan, and this is way too much. So, why bread waste is such a big problem? Loss of resources invested in supply chain. Wasting bread leads to the waste of water, energy, fertilizers and land resources, which are reused in the production, transport and storage of bakery products. These materials and processes have different environmental impacts such as global warming, acidification and eutrophication. This brings us to the next point, greenhouse emissions. According to the same research mentioned above, bread waste has been one of the major contributors to the greenhouse gas emissions. When the wasted bread goes into landfill and rots, it produces methane, a greenhouse gas that is even more potent than carbon dioxide, groundwater and air pollution. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, food waste causes more than 3.3 gigaton of CO2 per year. Landfilling of bread waste also leads to groundwater pollution. Besides, an alternative method of bread waste disposal to landfill happens through waste incineration, residues of which are mainly carbon dioxide and water, consisting of small quantities of hydrogen chloride, sulfur and other volatile compounds. During bread waste incineration, highly toxic nitrogen oxide gases are released. These problems have been further recognized by the United Nations in the Sustainable Development Goals, Specifically, sustainable consumption and production patterns subtarget 12.3 that aims to halve food waste in the consumer and retail levels and to reduce food loss in the production and supply chains. In order to tackle these problems, we, as the Inactus Bohos team, carried out this unique bread waste-oriented project in Azerbaijan to take the burden from the shoulders of farmers, create new job opportunities and contribute to the development of agricultural sector in Azerbaijan. Hey, 
Bakı Ali Nift Mektebi talebelerinin istesal edildiği gıdalarla gıdalandırıyorum. Evveler seçen kapı aldığım yemeği Bradford firmasının layihası tarafından 20 kapıya alıram ve buna göre de her ton için yemden 600 manat kanat etmiş olurum. The goals of the project include, but are not limited to, supporting local farmer communities who do not have enough experience in animal welfare and nutrition, helping farmers to reduce their income gap by providing them with an alternative that is cheaper than traditional animal feed. Our team offers a new approach by combining different types of waste while producing animal feed to enable farmers access to productivity and dramatically lower cost and increased reliability. Let's have a closer look at the roadmap and milestones of our project. Collecting bread waste from different locations and making a new product out of it. Bread leftovers collected from restaurants, residences and stores are then transformed into new agricultural product. This product is used by farmers to feed their livestock. Introducing and delivering a valuable, cost-efficient product to the farmers. Our competitive advantage is that our product offers enhanced protein synthesis, high nutrition and energy at a two times lower cost. Suspension and prevention of bread waste by offering a more sustainable, ecologically friendly product. Reutilization of bread waste as an alternative to the regular animal feed lowers its negative impact on the environment when it's landfilled and the emissions of CO2 and CH4 equivalent to 150 megatons are also being reduced. Introducing farmers to a new skill set by educating them about the practices of sales, marketing, pricing and product market fit as well as the fundamentals of animal nutrition. We do not only provide farmers with the instructions and recipes for developing our products so that they can produce it on their own, but also teach them how to control their costs and manage their businesses without sacrificing the welfare of their livestock. After conducting research and having various additional ingredients and supplementary food tested in the lab, our focus lied on increasing the quality of feed. Thanks to the addition of rice and corn into the feed, our final product turned out to become safer, healthier and richer in nutrients. Unique protein and amino acid content of rice enhance the microbial protein synthesis and nitrogen balance of our product, while corn delivered vital high energy nutrients such as iron, zinc and potassium. Our research and development continued for one month at the Innovation and Research Center of Bakuhaya Oil School until the satisfactory product quality has been achieved. To ensure the quality of the feed, samples containing different compositions underwent special tests in the laboratory of Azerbaijan Institute of Food Safety and were finally certified to be of high quality. According to the end result, our product has 1.42% of fat, 10.5% of protein and 60.97 kilocalories of energy in 100 grams. After receiving the safety certificate, our next steps aimed at reaching out to people living in rural areas to scale up the project. In order to maintain a continuous supply of stale and bread left over from households, restaurants and stores were located special boxes to collect the waste. Bread is not collected in separate containers in Azerbaijan. That's why we firstly placed 10 waste bread collecting boxes in different areas of Baku, as well as Bakuhaya Oil School cafeteria, and started collecting stale bread to produce the livestock feed. We partnered with a small factory specialized in the production of agricultural goods to prepare the feed according to the recipe generated by our team. We hired a truck that collects the bread from boxes and delivers it to the factory. The final product was distributed to farmers. Starting with just one farmer, the number of beneficiaries eventually increased to four. As an outcome of our project, we achieved the following results. By feeding livestock with our product, farmers were able to reduce their costs while increasing the productivity of their animals. After collecting bread, corn and rice waste, emission of harmful gases such as CO2 and CH4 has been reduced. Beneficiaries, farmers, learn how to produce the product following our methodology and are now able to feed their livestock on a daily basis independently. The farmers enhanced their knowledge, acquired new skills and learned the relevant business practices through this project. The farmers got more opportunities for expanding their client base and therefore maximize their profits. Let's shed light on some additional indicators. We have already collected 6 tons of bread waste within a month, meaning up to 72 tons can be collected within a year. During the manufacturing stage, we exceeded our own expectations by producing 37.23 tons of feed prepared with supplements. Motivated by the tangible, effective result of our production, the number of farmers utilizing the final good increased from 1 to 4. If we continue working with four farmers, the project will generate $24,000 in net profit yearly. And by purchasing our product 40 cents cheaper than the market price, one farmer saves $15,000 annually. 
The sustainability of the bread for the project is achieved by the correspondence with SDGs number 8, 12 and 15. Once waste bread is collected and ML feed is produced, it is being sold to farmers at a lower than average price, boosting their profit and giving way to new job opportunities. Such initiative complies with the eight sustainable development goal concerned with inclusive and sustainable economic growth, productive employment and decent jobs for many people. Talking about the 12th SDG endorsing developing countries to move towards more sustainable patterns of consumption by 2030 is considered as an urgent need by our project. While altering the way we consume and produce food, we move to the efficient management of bread disposal and reduced ecological footprint. By placing several containers for bread disposal at many restaurants and residential buildings to gather more waste bread and supply it to a large number of farmers, we do not only support agriculture, but also encourage industries, businesses and consumers to recycle and reduce waste. Lastly, it is well known that bread is ranked as one of the highest food waste categories contributing to the emission of greenhouse gases. Intending to combat climate change and fulfill the 15th objective of sustainable development program, we reuse waste bread to generate animal feed and aim to utilize it to grow lactic acid bacteria in the production of yogurt, soda and vegetable fermentation. So we invested this project into a more sustainable and tangible change in the lives of farmers in Azerbaijan and we are not planning to stop. Our future plans include placing up to 100 disposal containers at residential buildings and catering places. This way we will be able to collect more resources, produce more feed and support a larger audience of farmers. Moreover, we are planning to apply certain technological advancements, namely sensors, which will be indicating when the bread waste containers are full. To facilitate the accumulation and sale processes, we are also aiming to develop website and mobile application to enhance our future operations. Although now we are working with bread waste, in near future we'll start to process waste of rolls, croissants and other baked goods to produce feed for other animal classes too. Last but not least, we aim to bring a positive change into the lives of more farmers and plan to expand the operations of bread waste to the rest of our country as a team of Enactus Azerbaijan.